Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Sarah and I make videos about fashion and lifestyle. I just started a new schedule on YouTube where I'm posting new videos every Wednesday and Friday. So if you haven't, please make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I hope to see you here next week as well. So today's video is my Chanel handbag collection. Somebody requested that I do a handbag collection on YouTube and I thought that would be one very long video so I'm gonna break it up into designers. I've done a Louis Vuitton collection before and a Dior collection so I thought I'm gonna do my Chanel collection now and I'm gonna show you guys the handbags in the order that I bought them in. Let's go ahead and get into the video. My very first handbag that I bought, I kind of bought it on a whim. I had been working full time as a blogger for two years by then and I was starting to make money off of my business and then I decided that I would save my money and buy a Chanel bag. I went into the store thinking that I wanted a classic bag but then when I saw this one, I kind of like impulsively bought it because I thought it was the most beautiful bag I've ever seen. It's this lilac boy Chanel. I love this bag so much. I actually did a video on this comparing the boy Chanel to the classic flap but I am in love with this bag it is such a beautiful color I hope that the camera is translating this color well I love that it's very unique this was definitely a limited edition because the boy Chanel's usually don't have this weave on them and I'm so happy to have found this because I have never seen anybody else have this bag so I know it was really rare and I thought it was a special purchase to have as my very first Chanel. The next bag I bought was a classic, but this was in a calfskin leather. This is the Chanel Mini, and it's in a navy color. I really love this bag. I wore this bag to death when I got it. I wore it so much, I made good use out of it. I really need to bring this back. I feel like this bag I use the most in the daytime, in the summers. I wear a lot of blues and whites, and I feel like this just works so well with my outfits in the summertime. It's the perfect size. It fits so many things like you would think that this bag is so small But it actually fits my camera, hard keys, my wallet, lipstick, maybe like a tampon or something, whatever I don't like to carry too much in my bags anyways This was my second purchase and again, I haven't seen the navy minis very much either So I feel like this is also very rare I only have two Chanel bags with silver hardware Which is very interesting because I've heard, I've heard, I don't know if this is true. I've heard that Chanel's with gold hardware are really difficult to find, at least in the US. So I'm excited now that I'm looking at all my bags. I'm like, I have a lot of Chanel's with gold hardware. So I think I did well finding these. Once I got my classic navy Chanel, I was on the hunt to find a classic Chanel medium sized with gold hardware. And I thought I would not find it in the US because they are so difficult to find, especially with the gold hardware. And I just happened to walk into Neiman Marcus one day and I was was browsing the uh, Chanel store and I asked this lady if she had a classic Chanel with gold hardware and she did which I was like shocked I thought I would have to go to Europe to find that bag this is one of my favorite bags ever this was one of my dream bags and I'm so happy I found it again this is the bag that I was talking about when I was comparing the boy bag and this bag and this is so precious to me when I learned about the history of this bag I was like I love this bag even more and I explained the history of the classic Chanel in that video so if you're interested make sure you're watching it this is my ride or die I've taken this bag on vacations multiple times as the only bag and I haven't needed anything else I love this bag so much I take care of my bags but I don't try to like protect them with everything with little nicks here and there but the caviar leather on this has lasted so beautifully I don't see a single scratch on this and and it is one of my favorite bags to date. So once I had the two classic bags and the boy bag, I think the next bag I really wanted was a backpack because sometimes it's nice to have a bag that is spacious, especially for me because I usually tend to gravitate towards smaller bags that I always have. I really wanted a slightly larger bag for travel. So I got this bag. I love the tan and the black together. And then this has like a very beautiful distressed metal gray hardware. And then on the back, 
back of the straps, the straps are two-toned. So one of them is metal gray and then one of them is like this gold, kind of like a antique gold and it's so beautiful. This bag carries so much. I really like this bag because you can carry it as a handbag like this or you can just take the straps out and put it over your shoulder this is one of my three bags that i have that are bigger than a medium-sized bag so i like carrying this when i'm going on vacation or if i'm going to a concert or something like that this is always very handy to have in those situations okay fast forward many years after i had those two bags i was not looking to get this bag but when i went into the chanel store for some reason i couldn't not have it i don't know why but i love this bag so much it is so unique never seen anybody have it this was in the collection that they released maybe two or three years ago it was like a parisian collection kind of centered around the ritz which is just so glamorous like uber glamorous right so i bought this bag it's a clutch it's sequenced all around it's supposed to look like a door tag because of the ritz and it says please do not disturb on the front and on the back it says please dare to disturb i thought this was such a cool concept and then the chain is just so gorgeous it's a clutch it's an evening bag you cannot fit very much into it probably just your phone but when the zip is on this is how it looks it's just the detailing on this is so beautiful i love it every time i take it anywhere i get so many compliments on it i love this bag and i'm so happy i got it the next bag that i'm showing you is my least used bags but i love this bag so much i still will never part from it it is my chanel wallet on chain i got this in paris hence probably the gold hardware but i really do love the gold on this it's so nice together the red and gold and then it comes with a really long strap the only thing i'd say about chanel wallets on chains are that they the strap is like super long so you need to knot the strap to put it as a crossbody i do like that it has two zipped pockets and then it has this entire area for your phone so it's quite handy if you do want to just carry it as a wallet now that i'm thinking about it why don't i use this more often because it's actually really convenient if i want to only take my wallet with me somewhere quickly and then when i need it to be hands-free i can just wrap it around my body with the chain i don't know why i didn't think about this before but yeah i think i'm gonna start using this more now it is in the calf leather i do like that it has like the same detailing on the bag as the boy bag so it's really beautiful love this color I'm definitely going to start carrying this around more. I'm happy I never got rid of it and I never will. And the last bag I want to show you is a vintage find. I got it in Amsterdam last year. This specific combination in a bag I had my eyes on for the longest time and I just wasn't able to find it. It kind of happened on a fluke. I went into the vintage store and I saw it and I had to have it. And then I was thinking, why did I never try this before? Why didn't I shop for vintage Chanel when I went to Europe? Because Europe has some of the best vintage Chanel handbag selections I have ever seen especially in Amsterdam they were off the hook in Italy I wasn't able to find much but like in Amsterdam and Paris I feel like that is the place to go vintage shopping especially for Chanel I was blown away so without further ado this is the bag a classic white bag I love the gold hardware this is probably like even more rare to find from what I've heard a white chanel classic bag with gold hardware which is like crazy right and i think this bag is circa 94 i want to say and it has like the quilting on it and then one big pocket and i love this bag it's beautiful it didn't have any marks on it at all when i got it but i did put a little pen mark on it myself it's okay though right because bags are meant to be used and i love this so much i'm so happy i found it i didn't even know i was 
was looking for this until I found it. I was like, oh my god, this bag is so beautiful. I need to have it in my life and I don't regret it at all. Since then, I have not bought any more Chanel's. Probably won't for a little bit, but I'm very, very happy with the collection that I have so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, to like, subscribe, comment. I am still a younger channel on YouTube and any interaction that you have with my channel helps me out tremendously and for that I will be so grateful. Come back for another video next week and I'll see you guys then. Bye!